Hey, my dears. Uh, I'm Jesse, and welcome back to We Seek Summits. I am doing this video today because I woke up with a little tickle in my throat yesterday, and I had to dash off so I didn't get to do my things that I normally do, but I've been hitting it pretty hard uh, yesterday and all of today. And basically, I wanted to share with you some of the things that we do to combat um, little issues and junk and yuck that arises. Um, one of the reasons we love oils is because oils work with your body to help strengthen your immune system, to help strengthen your respiratory system, all that. Um, so that what we have found since using natural health items is we don't get sick as often, like very little, but then when we do, we up the dose of the stuff and we use it consistently. So oils are best used preventatively and consistently. And that's the key, um, is that I kind of started all my barrage of things almost as soon as I noticed, um, you know, the first little sign of it. Uh, now, like I said, I headed out, so I was out and about. So while I was out, I just used whatever oils I had. Like I had some of the, um, the On Guard cough drops, which are great. I also opened up the oils that I keep in my car, and I was like, what do I have? I had Beautiful Blend, which has frankincense and lime in it, so that's good. So I slathered that on. I had Melaleuca, which is great at fighting stuff, so I slathered some of that on. I also had Cheer, which has a lot of the same immune-boosting oils as On Guard. So even though, you know, it's an emotional, one of the emotional aromatherapy, it also has a lot of great immune-fighting properties as well. So I'm just slathering on all the oils till I can get home and do all my things. So I wanted to show you. And these I kind of do throughout the day as I'm, as I'm fighting, um, and again, consistently. So first and foremost is nutrients. When your body is fighting something, it needs nutrients. And of course the oils are great, but they don't have the nutrients, the enzymes in them at all. So um, I take, I like the standard process. Uh, brand of vitamins. We take some of them daily as well as our doTERRA Lifelong Vitality. So um, I up the calcium. They have a great calcium. Now do not go get a calcium from the store because it's a syn synthetic one and it'll actually create a nutrient deficiency in your body. But this is a good quality calcium and especially when you have elevated body temperatures when you're warm you need calcium. I also do, they have their Conjaplex, which is the immune fighting, boosting, you know, yuck stuff one. So I take a good, uh, I take probably like six to ten of those in the morning and then in, again in the evening depending on what it is. You can get the standard process um, at a lot of chiropractors they they have so you can just google like standard process. Um, I also take, like I said, I take my regular doTERRA vitamins and I like to do the On Guard soft gels so I take one of these daily normally but then again I'll increase these to maybe two or even three a day. So I'll take one in the morning, I just took one now and I'll take one again in the evening. Um, as well, I have a little kiwi here to remind me that the body needs minerals. It needs minerals a lot when it's fighting stuff. Kiwi has a lot of vitamin C. Now, do not go get those little packets of stuff that look just like the word for emergency um, <laughs> because those are synthetic. And what it'll do is actually end up creating a nutrient deficiency in your body because your body cannot process those. You need natural vitamin C. So go and eat an orange or eat a kiwi. Um, eat your good foods. And, and I'm going to tell you this, eat your veggies. Like, you need green veggies all the time, and you especially need them when you're fighting stuff because your body needs the selenium and the zinc and the calcium. A lot of those are found in kale, broccoli. So um, when you're not feeling well, you kind of need to eat your greens. And you need to eat them all the time. But even more when you're not feeling well because your body is needing those, really needing those minerals. Okay, what else? So speaking of nutrient stuff, what I also do, and this is kind of, we use these in our daily things, but then I'll up it a little bit, is we've got elderberry syrup. So I make it, and I'll just do a squirt of this. Here, give a shake. There we go. So I do a squirt of this a couple times a day. Um, I've also got pickled garlic, and I posted the recipe, uh, or the video for that. So here's what I'll do is I'll just get a couple cloves of it. It's also got the cider vinegar in there, so I'll just take a couple of these. Mm-hmm. The great thing about them being pickled is that they're kind of sweet. It's taken away all the spicy sharpness. And I have to tell you that one time I was battling a particular throat thing um, known for the very fiery feeling in the throat and little white spots at the back of the throat. I had done it once 
with antibiotics and it came back. So I was like, okay, hey, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna fight this naturally. Um, so I was eating raw garlic cloves, <sighs> sprinkled with cayenne and like dipped in honey, um, manuka honey. I was doing all those and blah, or I'd like shove them down my throat and it didn't taste great. But I found the pickled garlic as well. And so I love doing that. Although I'd still do raw garlic if I needed. But let me transition there. Um, what we also do is obviously you know you need lots of liquids and especially if the body temperature is elevated just keep fluids like just keep fluids going in um, good hydrating fluids so we do a lot of teas so you know like chamomile tea or green tea or I just got some chrysanthemum um, so I'm going to try that because I've never had that one before but what I love adding to tea is my friend Jamie called Jane's tea you can drop oils in your tea so her combination is a drop each of lemon peppermint and on guard um, or I especially just do lemon. So my sicky tea blend is uh, for a cup of tea, two capfuls of cider vinegar, and again, you always want the one with the mother, a good spoonful of um, manuka honey, especially if you can find it. I got this large one at Costco. I know they have smaller ones at Trader Joe's. I've seen them at specialty grocery stores. Um, or if not the manuka honey and we say this one this one's pretty expensive because of course it comes from new zealand and we pull this one out for the powerhouse stuff so when we're fighting something otherwise definitely use your local raw honey when you can find it and then a pinch of cayenne garlic is great anti-inflammatory ginger is great anti-inflammatory um, cayenne is great anti-inflammatory so you can use these things in general for gut uh, digestion health but adding a pinch of cayenne to your tea and it actually just warms the tea. It's not that spicy, it just makes it really warm and cayenne in particular is so soothing to the throat. Um, and it feels lovely. And then a couple drops of lemon. Citrus is also great for fighting stuff. This is, does not have like the same, the vitamin C and all that, but um, all the oils, all the citrus oils are phenomenal at the other kind of fighting. Then, of course, we've got our good old junk roller bottle. So this is, let's see what's in junk. It's frankincense, on guard, melaleuca, and oregano. And then uh, we've also added in the Arbor Vitae. And this one, we just kind of rub on all throughout, just as often as you think about it. So it can be as often as like every hour or so, but kind of leave this out and every time you see it, just go and give it a, a rub on wherever you need. Catch a spine, feet, whatever. And then obviously if you're dealing with different kinds of things, you don't customize. So like I said, mine is a sore throat right now. And I'm kind of feel, I kind of feel it trying to press into the head, kind of getting that like head pressure and tension. So I've been battling it back. So right now it's just staying in a sore throat. Um, I feel pretty good right now because I went and took a detoxifying bath, which always helps, you know, helps the body kind of flush out toxins as it's fighting stuff. So I'm feeling good now. It's nice and warm. Um, keeping the junk going. If it's something else that's down here, then you'd be, you know, wanting to breathe and stuff. If you're feeling congestion here, using breathe or even digest then across this. But definitely customizing your oils. But the whole point is use your oils. So I've got something in the diffuser going. I've got my roller bottles going. Just keep using them throughout the day. Um, and some other great ways to do that are, I mentioned the On Guard cough drops. Or they're the breathe cough drops. I'll also, when I go to sleep at night, um, I'll take one of these because it kind of helps however your mouth does to wake up feeling a little bit nasty. Sorry about that. Use the new On Guard mouthwash and rinse it all out. Um, there are also, last little tip is the, the beadlets. So you got the peppermint or the On Guard beadlets, which my kids swallow one of each of these a day. But if you let this hang out at the back of your mouth and let it pop in your mouth, you'll get that amazing burst of oil. Um, for pepperin especially, it's fresh, uh, breath freshening, um, great for head tension as well. So you can kind of carry these around and just pop a few of these throughout the day. Um, and then I think the last thing is, of course, being hydrated. So I've got my glass water bottle. I take this with me everywhere because I can always put my oils in it, as well as I'll do it around the house, again, just because I can put my oils in it. And then I'll give it a good shake, and I'll drink up. Um, and I usually, my daily oil choice is DDR Prime, pink pepper, and lemon. But I can always change that up or adding in like some tangerine or something. Um, also, with the sore throat, I just remembered one more thing. I did it first thing when I got up this morning, or if it's kind of been a while and I'm sort of like ready to do all these things again, I'll go and get some sea salt, mix it in a little water, and gargle with salt water. So gargle it back, let it kind of sit there as long as you can because that um, salt pulls the moisture out of the walls of your throat. So it kind of helps to um, decrease the inflammation a bit. So gargle and then I spit that out. 
And then I'll also gargle with um, On Guard and Lime. And now I know On Guard is spicy. However, it feels so good for a throat. So I'll gargle with that, hang on, and then let it like, just let it run down my throat and I'll swallow that. And um, that's another thing to try. So I can't think of anything else, but basically, like I said, is I just kind of hit these things throughout the day. And I don't necessarily do all of them at once, but I'll do like, I'll make a tea earlier, or then I just did a round of the elderberry and garlic, and I might do one more of those this evening, keeping the cough drops going. So work these in. And I can tell you, I'm now on day two, and maybe I'll give you an update. Uh, I'll update the video tomorrow. But like I said, it's hanging on at just a throat, and obviously I can talk and feeling good. But I'm finding that in general, Anything that we do catch, like I said, we don't get sick as often, but if we do, I find that it just doesn't always get as bad. Like we're able to kind of fight it off. And before I forget, the key is even after all your symptoms are gone, make sure to continue this stuff for at least another day or two because your body is fighting and it's fighting it well and we want to continue giving those that flood of nutrients. Um, consider it like sending supplies to the front, you know, your army, of um, the white blood cells and they're like they're fighting all the things and they're doing that so you need to continue to give the nutrients giving supplies to the front and keeping your your good guys well stocked so i hope that this was helpful uh, we are always looking for more ideas so if there's something that i am not yet using that you would love to suggest like please you know i'd love to add things to the arsenal um, we also will occasionally do like colloidal silver and some other stuff like that if we need but like i said please send your suggestions post those in the comments i'd love to see more things to do. Let me know what you've tried that works. And um, if you have any questions, there's always the link that's in the description that you can please like follow that and fill out the form if you've got any questions or if there's anything else you'd like to know. So like I said, my throat's feeling a little bit dry because I've been talking now, but I do hope this was helpful and I'm gonna go and continue my regimen. So thank you so much. Of course, I finished the video and thought of a couple more things. Um, Melissa oil if you can get that one save up points for it or you know make that your one month's order Melissa is one that again we pull out when we really need to take care of something it's a very precious oil it's a very expensive oil but it knocks stuff out um, as well as some of the other powerhouse like the oregano and thyme uh, also as the sun just went behind the clouds here that reminded me we tend to get sick in the winter because we are vitamin D deficient. And there is a whole thing to that. Um, and it's like the angle of the UV and the sun's not even at the right angle for us. During the summer, the peak time to absorb those UVs are actually during the middle of the day. And I know everybody says don't go out in the middle of the day, but about 10 to 20 minutes is a good absorption for vitamin D production. So in the winter, if it's sunny, Spend a little bit of time in the sun because you need the vitamin D to process the calcium. And again, we talked that your body needs calcium when it's fighting stuff. So find your ways to get a little bit into the sun. Or there was one day it was so cloudy and the kids had been inside and we were all miserable and the sun came out and I'm like, get out, get out, go ride bikes, walk something. Um, just get some sunshine. And I thought of one more thing, of course, um, bone broth that I had just pulled some out and took a drink. Uh, I have the the video of the chicken stock or how I make stock, but bone broth is one of those powerful things for your body. It's got a lot of nutrients. You know, again, it's nutrient dense. So when, especially, well, I take some daily and then especially when I'm fighting something, I'll do maybe a couple glasses of that. And the way I do it is after I've made my big old pot is I'll put some in ice cubes and I'll freeze it in the ice cubes so I can just pull out like four or five of those and drink it. So, um, and again, that adds to the fluids. Okay. <laughs> so this is a bonus. If I think of anything else, I'll do another bonus. But I think that's about it. And like I said, continue to give me some more ideas. Thank you.